During the making of this video, this comment here was left. I will be making another video discussing whether or not I was too harsh on the mod. Thank you. Please enjoy the video. I just want to say, yeah, I know the game is still early access and there's only one guy working on the game, but I would still like to make some suggestions in hope of improving the game. So, first things first, seating map. I mentioned in my early access 22 video that a map showing the seats would be great so you wouldn't have to use the function keys. I also showed a crude drawing to better demonstrate what I mean. I still stand by this suggestion and I think it would be an amazing improvement to the vehicles. Also mentioned in my early access 22 video was a remade model for the attack helicopter since it's one of the oldest vehicles in the game. There are three other vehicles I think should have remakes as well, those being both of the planes and the attack boat. You could maybe do the turrets, but I'm not really sure since I think they look fine enough. Maybe the anti-aircraft turret or the anti-tank turret could benefit from a remade model. I'm sure you get this a lot, but there's a reason for that. This game would greatly benefit from a wider selection of weapons. There are 25 guns if you count the thumper. For primaries, we have 6 assault weapons, 3 marksmen, 2 close quarters, and 2 stealth. But, they're technically assault weapons, so we have 8 assault, 3 marksmen, and 2 close quarters. For secondaries, we have 3 handguns, plus a special pistol, 2 personal defense weapons, and that's it. For the gear, we have 5 anti-armor weapons, and 1 grenade launcher. Now, that isn't a lot of weapons, so what I think would be beneficial is an extra shotgun with either more ammo and slower reload, or less damage and higher fire rate. I also think an SMG or two would be nice. We have low damage, high fire rate weapon. Oh, and these two weapons right here? Yeah, they have this strange bug that will sometimes occur where once you lock onto a vehicle and fire the rocket, it'll just curve straight down instead of going towards the vehicle. This is kind of annoying since most of the time I try to snipe vehicles, it's usually with a railgun. So whenever I decide not to do it, it just, it's broken. So recently I've been playing a lot of Conquest, and to give myself a bit of a challenge on top of not being able to slow-mo, I play on hard difficulty, and I think the progression of either upgrading your weaponry or your vehicles is really nice. What I think Steel Raven could add is the hero armor from Spec Ops, and I think you should have a separate meter for it, like the HEV suit from Half-Life. This can also tie into the weapons, as maybe you could have a slot for melee, where instead of kicking, you could have a slightly higher damage knife, or the hero armor if you plan to play defensively. If you were to add it in, I would put it under the night vision goggles. In my Ravenfield multiplayer mod video, I showed off all the weapons, and I also showed the spearhead that functions like a flashbang. I think this should be in Ravenfield as a punishment for being in range of it, and maybe not not looking at it. Oh yeah, it should also make a loud bang sound, like a flashbang would. I've made maps for Ravenfield before. They were all right in my opinion, but one of my friends who's also a mapper for the game noticed that all of the assets slash prefabs were in the map editor, mainly complained about the trees from River Delta and the large rocks from maps like Rafts and Dust Bowl. I personally think the rocks would be nice to add some cover to your maps, and before you say just use Unity, not everyone has the greatest understanding of how to use it. <clears throat> Lightning Inferno. I really think you should be able to swim properly in this game. I hate how if I accidentally fall into the water, I can only move around and not do anything else. While it only applies to rafts, it would be nice if you could go underwater for maybe 10 seconds before having to resurface, or you will take something like 5 damage every second you're underwater after that. Also, have a separate meter for it. To complement this new system, you should be able to climb out so you don't have to swim around to get out of the water. Okay, so this might be controversial, but maybe add a perk slot or three and have some perks. Have perks where you can use primary weapons in your secondary slot and vice versa. Even though it might be impractical to have a condor and a bundle of bus, it's still there. Speaking of that new melee slot or whatever you want to call it, have an extra slot so you can have both a hero armor and a knife slash kick. Maybe have one where you don't get affected by spearheads, or maybe you could have the hero armor be its own perk and not in the melee slot, so you can still kick enemies and take the ammo from them if things are getting desperate. Hell, maybe get more ammo from kicking a dead body, or getting health and ammo from the bags faster. Oh, and how could I forget? Faster reloads. You can honestly do so much with this, and I think it would add a lot to the game, but who knows. This is one of those videos that would greatly benefit from discussion. 
I don't know what you call the F8 thing, so I'm just going to call it photo mode since that's how I use it. Please have some image effects, like more image effects, and a maybe a user-friendly menu to choose them from. That would be excellent. It would really help out with taking screenshots for some of my levels for the Steam page, and maybe have a recording feature like GTA 5, although this could be a complicated thing, so I'll understand if it doesn't happen. Definitely have image effects like lens flare, chromatic aberration, and film grain. Or film grain. Any of those work. Okay, okay, I already know he said he wouldn't add multiplayer in, but do you really expect me to play that sorry ass excuse for a mod to do multiplayer? Yeah, fuck that. I'd rather peel my kneecaps out with the crowbar than play that mod. And if you want to know why, you can watch this video right here. <laughs> but I'm not even asking for full-fledged PvP multiplayer. What I'm asking for is a cooperative mode, and let's say you and one to three of your friends can play the game against bots. This would be really fun for spec ops. Let's say you have one dedicated squad leader chosen at random and or have a vote system. Then that squad leader can mark targets for the other friends to take out. And it would be peer to peer, so none of that dedicated server crap. And this doesn't even have to come out in the next update. I would be perfectly fine with this if it came out right after the game gets an official release. Alright, that's 10 suggestions for Ravenfield. Um, that's all I had at the moment. Uh, maybe if you want to see more, fucking like the video or something, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I'm gonna work on some other videos. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.